everyone. Today, what do we have today? I'm here for my raw review. Last night, pretty good show, I guess. Wait, no, 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 it wasn't a good show. It was tolerable. That's the word. Tolerable. Okay? Um, there are some okay things. There are some bad things. So, you know, let's just get into it right now. <clears throat> the show opened up with Seth Rollins with a huge ovation. Like, he was, like, huge ovation. Came out like a face, you know. And, um, he said that, um, it took him months to rehab and all that stuff. And he said, um, um, he said that, uh, sorry, I got done with the milkshake. Um, he said that, you know, he came back for a time he never lost. Um, he said that fans sent him emails and mail and letters like that and stuff. He said that he burnt them all in the trash and the garbage. So there you go. He's a freaking heel. Good job. Good job. Good job. You bring him back as a heel. Good job. You're gonna do anything it rains over, aren't you? He's not gonna be over at Money in the Bank. Okay. And then Roman comes out. They have a little stare down. And then Reigns goes back. And um, Reigns gets in the ring. And then Rollins backs out like a chicken crap heel. <sighs> no, not that type of booking. No. It should be the other way around. It should be the reversal. Reigns should be the heel. Rollins should be the face. Listen to the reaction, Vince. Are you listening to the reactions of the fans, you idiot? God. I'm sorry. I'm just so angry at this. Why is Rollins a heel again? I mean, I love heel Rollins. I love him. But, you know, he just came back from injury. You know, he should be a face. Did you hear the ovation he got last night, people? Did you? Because I did. I certainly heard the reaction. So, yeah. And then Shane McMahon comes out and says that, um, this is quote unquote. This is matches quote unquote WrestleMania worthy. Worthy, sure, whatever. Add Dean Ambrose, then it'll be WrestleMania worthy. Okay. And then he says that Money in the Bank will be Seth Rollins challenging at Reigns for the WWE title. And yeah, there you go. Rollins gets his wish. He's a freaking heel again. Good lord, come on. Did you hear the reactions, people? As I said before, I heard the reactions. I'm just a little bit confused. Why is he a heel again? I love heel Rollins. I do. But, you know, don't, you know, he's coming back to the chicken, the, the chicken heel. You know, the heel that runs away. You know, I know, I know that's what heels are supposed to do sometimes. But, you know, I don't know, man. I heard the ovation. I mean, if you guys go back and listen to it, the ovation he got. And the reaction Reigns got when he came out was booze. Just freaking booze everywhere, man. So, yeah. And that was it. Oh yeah, we also had, money in the, also had some Money in the Bank qualifying matches on Raw. So, the first match up was Sami Zayn versus Sheamus. Pretty good match. Um, Sami Zayn with the Huluva kick. Uh, Sami Zayn advances to the Money in the Bank, into the ladder match. So, there you go. Should be good. Sami Zayn, yeah, ladder match, equals awesomeness. So, there you go. Sami Zayn. Um, and up next, uh, what was it? Um... I'm just going through the matches. I'm not going to go through any segments or anything like that. Well, besides one segment, but I'm just going to go through the matches. Um, then Cesaro defeated The Miz. Uh, good match, again. These two have good chemistry. Um, surprise. I'm still upset that Cesaro didn't win on Sunday, but yeah, what, do you, what are you going to do about it? Okay. Um, let me take these off. Um, and then um, after that, um, wait, after, uh, let me say this. After uh, Sheamus defeated, uh, oh, Sami Zayn defeated Sheamus. Sheamus got pissed off, and there was a backstage segment. Apollo Crews was talking to, I think, I don't know who that was talking to. I don't know. I don't care about the people backstage. And then Sheamus came in and attacked Apollo Crews, and he said, "Are you gonna? You're taking away my spot? I don't think so." You threw him around, threw him against a case, and that was it. And then, of course, Cesaro defeated the Miz. Or I think he went with the neutralizer. Yeah, no, he went with an uppercut. Then the neutralizer. Um, that was it. Then the next match was Chris Jericho against Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews did not sell the injury from the beatdown from Sheamus, apparently. I, I, told, I said on Twitter, you didn't sell the beatdown, dude. <laughs> you know, you didn't sell the beatdown of um, what happened to you backstage. You know, you need to sell. Put him back in NXT. You should have brought someone else up. I'm just saying. Um, and then after that was, let me see, Dean Ambrose against Dolph Ziggler? What was it? Yeah, I think Dean Ambrose against Dolph Ziggler was next. Pretty good match. Ambrose won with the Dirty Deeds. I don't care about either one of these men. 
I'm sorry, their characters are getting a little bit stat boring. I, I mean, I love Ambrose, I love Ziggler, but you know, they're just getting a little meh to me. Um, there was a segment, um, Ric Flair and uh, Charlotte and Dana Brooke were in the ring. Charlotte says um, that she doesn't need Flair anymore. Flair started crying, you know, all that stuff, and uh, met with lots of boos from the crowd, of course. They love Flair. You know, um, um, so yeah, um, Charlotte's without Ric Flair. It's about time. You should have done this months ago. God. You know, I love Flair. Respect the heck out of him, but you know, you don't need to be on TV 24-7, okay? I mean, he might come back, you know, and get revenge on his daughter. I was, I'm, I was actually thinking Charlotte was going to slap him, but she didn't. She just said, get out of my ring. This is my ring. You're going to be watching me on TV for, for 30 years. Now you're, Well, she said, now you're going to be the one sitting on the couch watching me for the, for the next 30 years. You know, she said, she said she doesn't need him anymore. And that's about it. Flair left the ring crying, and that was the end of that segment. And, uh, what else happened? Let me see here. Is that it? No, yeah, Enzo, Enzo came back. Yeah, to a big pop, Enzo. Um, Enzo came out. Well, first, Big Cass came out. And then, Big Cass points to the back. And then Enzo came out to a huge pop. I was like, yes, Enzo's back, you know. Um, uh, yeah. Pretty cool guy. He's so funny. And, um, yeah, and Big Cass squashed the Dudley Boys. Well, he squashed he squashed Bubba. Yeah. That was it. The New Day defeat the Social Outcast. Don't care. Although they did, it was Raw's 112th anniversary, I think. Yeah. Um. Um, then that was the end of that. They blasted Heath Slater with a cake. And that was the end of that. Um, the club is no more. There's no more club. AJ Styles, um, said that he doesn't need them anymore, but he says they'll just be friends, you know, AJ came out and said that, you know, he said, um, all that stuff, you know, he doesn't need them anymore, but would they'll just remain friends, then the Anderson Gallows came out, and they said, um, the, you know, they said, uh, we were there to help you, all that stuff, so we're not gonna be your friends anymore, all that stuff, you know, then they left the ring, but they said, um, they're not gonna be there for him or anything like that, you know. Then they left the ring. The club is no more. Thank God. And um, that was the end of that. There's no more club. No more Ric Flair near Charlotte. Thank God. And am I missing anything? Let me see if I'm missing anything. As as I'm doing all the time, I always look on the computer. And I always um, you know, look at what, what the main event, you know, all that stuff is. So let me see if I missed anything. I still got that milkshake taste in my mouth. Dang. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler, I guess, had a match. I didn't know that. I didn't really pay attention, so. I guess they had. I, I think they had a match. Yeah, they had a match, I think. I remember. You know, I wasn't really invested in the show tonight, you know. Well, not really that an interesting Raw. The only thing interesting was Enzo coming back, Ric Flair being dumped by Charlotte, and um, the Money in the Bank qualifying matches. That was it. My only thing is, uh, I think Apollo Crews should have won. I love Jericho. I love Jericho to death. You know, Jericho's one of my favorites. Hall of Fame worthy. Um, but yeah, the Money in the Bank live match is um, to elevate new stars. Not to... Get the old stars. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> As I said before, excuse me. It is to elevate new stars. I mean, you know, you should have put Apollo Crews in there. But I'm happy Cesaro's in it. Ambrose is in it. I'm. I guess I'm happy about that. And Kevin Owens. Um, there was the main event. The main event was Kevin Owens against AJ Styles. Pretty good match. Um. Excuse me. Uh, stupid pollen outside is getting to me. Um, uh, what else am I missing? Oh, yeah, I just said it's to elevate new stars and all that stuff. You know, Jericho, you know. Okay, Jericho's in the ladder match, whatever. 
And then uh, the main event was AJ Styles against uh, Kevin Owens. A pretty good match. Uh, a pretty good spots, I guess. Well, there are a few spots in this match. AJ got powerbombed on the steel steps. Um, AJ hit Owens with Instagram in that Pele. Hit the Styles Clash for the ending. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Let me try this again. Whoops, let me try that again. Sorry. Um, Kevin Owens hit the pop-up powerbomb to AJ. Steel steps. AJ got in the ring, hit a Pele kick. And then went for the Styles Clash, hit it. Co Owens kicked out. AJ went for the, uh, I think, phenomenal forearm. Kevin Owens uh, reversed, hit the pop-up powerbomb, and that was it. Kevin Owens is in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, this pay-per-view is actually looking to be okay, I guess. Rollins versus... Reigns for the title. Reigns is gonna get booed. Let's hope. Let's pray Reigns gets booed hard in that arena. Um, who's gonna win the ladder match? And who are the other contenders? That's my question. You know, who is gonna be? You know, oops. who is gonna be? You know, the other participants in it. I'm, you know, I'm thinking someone's gonna return. Maybe there's gonna be some return. Maybe a few returns. You know, maybe they could be contenders. You know, like Randy Orton. Maybe I guess. Yeah, um, I guess, uh, is Bray Wyatt due back soon? I think he is. Yeah, um, I'm not saying the show was bad. It was decent. It wasn't a bad, that bad of a show. I enjoyed Owens versus Styles. I guess I enjoyed, oh yeah, during the, um, Chris Jericho, Paul Cruz match, there was a botch. Like, Jericho went for the line salt, and, um, uh, Apollo popped up a little bit too soon. He hit, him, he hit Jer uh, Jericho, got hit in the ribs. But yeah, and I heard him say, I'm sorry, Jericho. Uh, but I heard it loud and clear. I was like, yeah, you should turn your cameras down, dudes. Um, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Money in the Bank. Um, who? Oh, my early predictions, I don't know who the rest are going to be. Well, there's only a few more spots left, but my early prediction for Money in the Bank, who I want to win, is Kevin Owens. I want Kevin Owens to win. But you know what? Whoever wins, anyway, it's just going to job the reins. Okay. So, that's pretty much the era we're in. Making Reigns look strong. Give me a break, man. Come on. AJ Styles deserves better. If you can go, if you go on my Twitter, you can see that I wrote how sad and upset I was about AJ Styles not getting treated the way how bad AJ Styles is being treated. Now, hopefully, with the club splitting up, I'm praying, and I'm thinking this might happen. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm just saying it might happen. That Finn Balor might debut after um take after the Takeover special. And he might debut up. Maybe Money in the Bank. Maybe. So I'm thinking he's going to lose. Owens is going to be... Um, Samoa Joe's going to be champion for a while. Maybe he'll have a, a feud with Nakamura. So hopefully Finn Balor will come up. You know, now, you know, now that Aerosmith and Gallows are done with the Styles, I think we all know maybe if AJ is if, um Finn Balor is going to come up. You know. So that's it. The question is when. When is Finn Balor coming no one knows. No one knows when Finn Balor. Um, so yeah, um, I said for Kevin Owens, I want Kevin Owens to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. All that good stuff. Um, what else? Am I missing anything on the show? Let me see. Let me see. Nope. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Let's see here. Nope, not missing anything else. Um, has anyone noticed, actually noticed that everything CM Punk said back in 2011 was true? I mean, you know, in the pipe bomb promo, he said that um, the place won't be the same without him, which is pretty much kind of it. I don't mean to be bringing Punk into this stuff, but I'm just saying, you know, everything he's, mostly everything he said was right. You know, like, the show's going to get boring. Um... Y'all gonna be wanting me back and all that stuff. And all that stuff, you know, um, I think pretty much everything Punk said was is sort of coming true. So Rollins is a heel. <sighs> Jeez, no, come on, man. Did you hear the ovation? I'm sorry for repeating myself, but did you hear the ovation, Vince? Were you back there and did you have your hearing aid on? Apparently not. Um, so yeah. Rollins is going to be a heel against Reigns. He's going to get, Rollins is going to get cheered over Reigns at Money in the Bank. Yeah, I can guarantee you those crowd is going to be freaking cheering. Um, 
cheering Rollins and booing Reigns. I guarantee you, it's been all that, you know. And the question is, who's going to beat Reigns for the title? Mm -hmm. I don't know. As long as it's someone who can take it off him permanently. I mean, I'm tired of this crap. Um, so yeah, Roman Reigns versus um, Rollins for the title at Money in the Bank. Should there be a stipulation? Mm, nah, it didn't need a stipulation. Nah, no, no, no. Not for this pay-per-view. It's just, you know, I don't know. You know, is your know, question is AJ, you know, what's gonna happen with AJ Styles and all that stuff. John Cena returns next week. You know, oh yeah, Cesaro's getting his rematch for the IC title at Sm on SmackDown Thursday. It's the miss, so that should be good. Hopefully he wins. But uh, yeah, um I don't think there's anything else for me to cover. Let me see here. Is there anything else? Nope. Nope. None to cover yet. No no no, nothing. So yeah, um, that's about it for my Raw review, dude. Sorry it wasn't that long. I only do these things for like 50 minutes to 16. I'm try One day I'll try to make a little bit longer th video, but you know, uh, I just don't really feel like doing that. I like keeping it short and sweet. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's been my Raw review. Um, hope y'all like the video. Please subscribe if you want to. Hit that like button for more wrestling stuff. You know, I do other stuff like with my friends and all that stuff, you know. Um, trying to work on, you know, like doing a, um, like a challenge. I'm talking to my friends about doing a challenge one day for y'all. So, yeah. Hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Um, that's about it. That's enough of the Raw review. Screw Reigns. All hail CrossFit Jesus Seth Rollins. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's about it, dudes. I'm gonna get out of here. Peace. Well, let me try that again with the glasses. Let me cooler. <laughs> Peace.